All right, folks, welcome back to the B29 restoration project. As you can see, the fuselage is upside down again, but it's not just silver anymore. Uh, yesterday, we actually it wasn't yesterday, it was Wednesday. Wednesday, we got a good bit of nice weather. So uh, we pulled this thing out, we got it masked off, and we got the black belly of the B29 sprayed. This pretty much makes up the vast majority of the cosmetics of the airplane to deal with. The only thing we have left really to do is the top set of the cells and the cowls need their metalizing finish. And then they'll need to get the black squiggles like what's on the fuselage done. And that will finish up all of the cosmetics of the airplane. Um, right now, we've I decided to leave the thing upside down for a couple of reasons. One, it just limits the amount of rolling over this thing we're gonna have to do. So we can get as much done while it's upside down, while it got painted or after it's painted as possible. That way it just eliminates any chances of it just getting banged up from, from moving the thing around. So right now you see I've got a bunch of, bunch of string here on the table. It's about, I wanna say about 50 feet of string. Uh, I got four of them, they're all tied back here onto the original servo extensions here in the tail. There are two rudder servos, two elevator servos on each side, so there are six servos back here. Um, I'm still gonna wire it up for six servos back here. The current plan so far is only have four, two rudder servos, one on each elevator. And that's the current plan, but it will be wired for four in case I decide to put the extra elevator servos on there later on. So string tied to the servo extension, I've just got it put between one of the wires and then it's tied a knot around the other two wires. And now you literally just go to the very front of the airplane and you pull it and there happens to be a conduit in here. So we'll just pull these all the way through the airplane until the strings come out the other end. And then once we get the new harnesses made up, we'll do the exact opposite. We'll tie this end back onto the new wires and we'll pull them back through again as well. So that's just kind of the, the process. Um, like I said, so we're gonna make all new extensions for it. This is power box. They're uh, maxi wire. It's a 50 meter spool. So the doing the math on this, it's gonna be kind of a surprising number, but using the power box wire over a conventional heavy duty servo wire saves three pounds that's right three pounds three zero three point zero pounds on just wiring for the servo that's how much servo extensions in this thing so we're going with that just for the weight savings and then on the uh, removable surfaces these are from Unilite it's what they call their I believe there's this their floating direct headers and it's basically a circuit board that goes into a little uh, that plugs into a connector and you screw one side to the stab, one side to the fuselage, and when you slide the thing on, it automatically connects. Uh, this particular package is two primary functions. So the, what they have a primary and a secondary. Primaries basically have a contact on the top and the bottom of the connection. So you have a double contact for each of the points. These are primarily for like uh, elevators, ailerons, flaps, servos, whatever you want to have that has double redundancy for it. Their secondary connections only have a contact on one side of the connection. So you could use this for like lights, retracts, or whatnot. So we're doing those in the back, here on the stab. That'll have, like I said, it'll have, it'd be wired for two stab servos, only pointing on one for now. So that one will have two primary functions. So we'll have one on either side. That way we just slide the stab on, single bolt, all connected, no connections to hook up. Um, here on the wing panel, we're going to use a bus system because this is a perfect opportunity to use a bus system for this airplane. We're going to have our big central box bus. Uh, it's a Jetty CB320 um, up here somewhere in the nose of the airplane. That'll have fairly two large batteries, probably 652 or 6,000 milliamp lithium ions. And then we'll have an extension that runs out here to a single primary function. So to have three connections. We don't need three connections with a bus because we're having a separate bus and the battery for that bus is going to be an outboard wing panel. We really only need one, but what I've elected to do is I'm going to split 
Uh, I'm going to run three signal wires out here to this function. That way, if any one wire breaks, we still have two extra ones to run a signal. At least that's the plan. I got to I gotta get in contact with Jetty and make sure that's not going to cause issues or whatnot. But so far, that's the plan for that. Um, yeah, so there's just going to be a whole lot of uh, making extensions, wiring harnesses. All of my harnesses I make, I run in like an, an expanding snake skin sleeve. Um, it just makes it easier to pull one harness out by itself and it also provides some abrasion resistance for if you're going through bulkheads or around a piece of carbon or if it gets up against like a linkage or whatever that 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 snake skin around the the harness really makes it gives you a little bit extra protection for the wiring harness so i plan on doing all of that especially here inside the nacelles where the gear is going to be going gear i mean there's a whole lot going on in this area so everything will have its own harness. Um, once all of that is run, the steering servos in it and the rudder servos are in it and the gear doors are working. Once all of that is done, the gear is going to go in it. The airplane is going to get rolled over and it shouldn't have to get rolled over hopefully ever again until after it's flown <laughs> and it comes time for maintenance. But that is the plan so far is we're going to get the airplane completed bottom side wise and then we're going to work on getting the outboard wing panels the horizontal stabilizers uh the clear glazing for the for the cockpit area engines all of that stuff done um also today i went ahead and got all of our fiberglass and carbon fiber layers laid up for the rest of our cowlings and i got, went ahead and did one cow layup as well uh, this cow layup is a single layer of one and a half ounce cloth fiberglass on the outside and then there's a layer of six ounce fiberglass around the nose bowl a layer of 1k 3k hybrid carbon along everywhere that's flat and then six ounce carbon or i'm sorry six ounce fiberglass on the inside and then another layer of six ounce fiberglass in the nose bowl area just to kind of give this area a little bit extra strength and stiffness because there's no carbon so that is the plan for that. The first cowling I did, it's a little over a pound. I'm hoping this one will be under a pound. Um, if it does, I might end up laying up a fourth cow. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. So uh, we got a couple of people sent us some donations to those of you who did that. Thank you very much. Uh, those donations have made it to where uh, we're going to get probably all of the servos and an engine ordered, maybe two engines. Um, I've got another gentleman who has offered very graciously to buy an engine for this thing. So we might have two engines here pretty soon and a whole lot of servos coming. So things are getting exciting <laughs> more so than, than the way it looks right now. It's, it's, I'm really happy with how it turned out. The, the look is almost uh, perfect for what I had envisioned, um, here along the waves. It's a little sh sharp of a, of a cutoff. So we'll have to come in here with the scotch right pad or maybe just an airbrush and kind of blend that in a little bit but really i mean i'm very very happy with how the airplane has turned out the look the scheme is pretty much exactly what i wanted so now yeah that's very happy with that um went ahead and ordered a set of horizontal stab bags for the stabs from pin bags just because uh i didn't want those things getting banged up and beat around in the process of it working because I mean they're just sitting there on a piece of foam up against the wall so try to protect those a little bit um, probably gonna have to have a set of bags for the outboard wing panel it, this thing is gonna <laughs> it's gonna start taking up a whole lot of space very very quickly and I gotta figure out where to put it because I have maintenance on other airplanes to do but anyways this thing is getting very very close um, it's looking very likely that we will have have it ready for the 2025 season so not a whole lot going on with this video really just kind of a, me wandering and bumbling but very excited um, once I get around to starting to make some of these extensions I'll pull out the video camera and we'll definitely video that for those who have never made their extensions I'll show you kind of how I do my whole harness setup but right now I'm gonna get to work just pulling this stuff out of the airplane it's really not that hard to eh, hard to show that or hard to do that needs to be shown like i said tie some string pull the extension out pretty much that's it so 
for now, y'all have a good one. And I'll see you back when I get ready to do some actual work.